Hey guys, what's up? It's Triple S Sports Coach here back with another video. So today I'm going to be telling you guys how to get autographs at a Windy City Bulls game at the Sears Center Arena. Um, so guys, I went to a game last weekend and I'm going to another game this upcoming weekend. Um, and uh, I've been graphing the team since last year. And uh, so far I've had some pretty good results. I've had a few former NBA players, Diamond Stone, Duye Dukan, Jarrell Eddy, uh, Trey Burke was another big one, Gennaro Pargo. So yeah, so former NBA players, Cameron Payne, who's still on the Bulls, but he's not that good. But still, i gotten some pretty good ones. Uh, and uh, probably my best one was this Will Bynum, Panini Brilliance Auto. Got this in person, it was really nice. So yeah, a, a couple of people have been asking, uh, how do I get autographs at the Windy City Bulls games? Uh, so I wanted to make a quick video on that. Um, so basically what happens is the doors open at the Sears Center Arena one hour before the game. So most games are at like 7 o'clock, so the doors will open at like 6. But if it's at like 6, it'll open at 5 and so on. Uh, if you're a season ticket holder like me, You'll be able to get in 15 minutes before everybody else. So you get an hour and 15 minutes before. But for, if you're not a season ticket member, only an hour. So yeah, if you want to graph the teams, make sure you get there an hour before the game. That is really, really important. Because a lot of the players are out right when you get there. And most of them go in by the time it's like 30 minutes before the game, blah, blah, blah. So, um couple tips. You want to bring, uh, make sure you bring some stuff to get signed. Uh, like a card or a photo or a team logo or, or a hat or something like that, a jersey. Uh, make sure you bring some sh Sharpies. I find that blue works the best. Uh, I've been using blue a lot this year. Last year I used black and this one came out nicely. Uh, but mostly I've been using blue now. Uh, try to avoid silver unless it's on a jersey or if it's like a super dark card. Um, so, yeah. Um, if you have... The easiest place to get an autograph is by the tunnels. So, here is the uh, little uh, map of the, of the court. So... Over here is section 114, 115, and 116. On this side, over here, on this side of the court, the players, uh, so this is the Windy City Bulls bench, they'll literally walk off right there, and they'll come down and out. There's like a curtain over here, and they'll walk through a little door in the curtain. Uh, make sure you call their name uh, and ask if they can please sign and stuff. Most of them will do it since it's the D-League. They're really nice about it. Some of them, though, you got to call a little bit louder um, if they've been to the NBA before, if they're talking to another teammate. Uh, don't ask them for, like, their shirt or a towel or anything, um, even if they played in the NBA before, because it is the G League and things. They don't have as much money as the NBA players, so, yeah. And then if you're trying to graph the visitors, it's a little bit different. It's over by sections 117 and 118 and 119. You're going to want to go through that section, like where you go, walk into that section. You're going to walk down all the way to the farthest part of that section. Players will come off the court, make a little like detour by the fan zone up here. Up here, and uh, then they'll walk down and out. Uh, a lot of the visitors, players will sign after the game. Some will sign before. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all you have to do to get... Uh, autographs there. Make sure you're there an hour before the game when the doors open. Make sure you bring Sharpies and whatever you want to get signed. And make sure you're standing by the where the players walk in or out. If you have 100 level tickets on this side, so sections 114 through 119, you'll be able to get down there. Uh, other side, you won't be able to graph because the players don't even walk off there at all. Uh, so yeah, make sure you have tickets on this side so you can graph and make sure they're in the 100 level. If they're in 200, I don't think they'll let you on. But most of the times, like, there won't be an usher, so, at the entrance to the section. So, if you have tickets in, like, 115, 
you'll be able to move all the way down to 119 or 118, whatever. Um, so yeah, just make sure to call their name really loud. Um, could you please sign? And I always thank them for signing because they are dealing players and stuff. Um, and a lot of times they'll thank you for letting them sign. So yeah, uh, that's how you get autographs at a Windy City Bulls game at the Sears Center. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, see you in the next one.